How does it feel to be a few days away from the season opener? Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's super exciting. Um, we haven't played since March, so um, definitely um, excitement is. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, I'm so happy to finally play the game and yeah. Does it, just feel like, does it feel like you've been practicing for forever at this point? Yeah, it's been it's been a long preseason. So um, like right now, it's just so grateful that we can play the game finally. What will it mean to you given um, just having your first year under your belt and, you know, you put in so much work in the off season to um, be able to come back stronger this year um, and you're going to have a you know important role as one of the um, I guess upperclassmen um, on this team so what will it mean to you personally to step on the floor on Saturday? I mean uh, it's just like I said before it's just excitement um, practices are different than games so um, hopefully uh, everything we did in practice um, we've done in practice so far um, we get get down on the floor. So um, during the game, um, yeah, we're gonna get in on the court and check how it work, all works. So I'm super excited. <clears throat> hey, Anna, it's, it's Charlotte. What have the, I guess the last two weeks specifically been like uh, hearing about the pause and, and kind of having to stop everything and then starting back up again? Uh, yeah, it's it's not an easy situation when you have to um, stop practicing for a little bit, but um, we're not the only one in the country, so uh, we take one day at a time and do whatever we can do and um, yeah, just um, get ready mentally, physically, um, and when people will say we are ready to go, we are ready to go. Anna, this is Michelle Bobo. How are you listening, listening, doing Sorry, you go first, Michelle. Oh, you, go, you can go, Matt. It's fine. I'll go after you. Okay, sorry. Quick question. Just how are you and the rest of the team doing mentally? Uh, Coach was talking a lot about how he's not sure where everyone's at just because of all the challenges that have come in the last few months. I think we we're doing pretty well. Um, like I said before, we take one day at a time. Uh, we have a great group. Uh, we feel uh, around each other great. Like we, we feel great around each other. So um, we just have fun together. Um, we got a lot of fun together. So even though we couldn't play, um, I think it make this, that group even stronger and, uh, and close. we are closer to each other because of that. Thank you. Hi, Anna. This is Michelle from uh, ESPN.com. Coach Oriama was just talking about how they're going to look to you to shoot a lot, which is usually uh, something I think basketball players love to hear, but it can mean some pressure as well. Can you just talk about how you deal with that and, and how you build your confidence um, as somebody who's mm -hmm. going to be expected to probably, you know, score pretty consistently for you guys this year? Mm -hmm. So I think if you can get through practices here at UConn, um, the game should be easier. Um, coach put a lot of pressure on me during the practices. So um, if I can make it done on practice, I think um, I can do it as, as well during the game. So um, I just want to be confident and uh, whatever my role is going to be like, um, I just want to help the team win. And that's what we are all here for. What is it like being on a team that has so many newcomers? I mean, uh, and with going with COVID, how have you guys been able to, or has it helped in some ways that you've spent so much time together uh, when you're when you're able to 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 bond? Mm -hmm. We definitely bond together. Um, it's it's not easy because um, from coach's perspective, because the they have to build the team and uh, put all these pieces together. Um, but I think um, our newcomers are great uh, listeners and uh, learners. So um, it, it looked good on practice so far. So hopefully we can, um, we can do the same um, in, in the game.
Thank you. Ada, how you doing, kiddo? Good. How are you? Doing all right. Thank you. Just ready. Just fingers crossed for Saturday, just like the rest of you. Uh, coach on this show the other day, I mentioned, I asked about you, and he mentioned, and this is, you know, I'm getting the impression the same thing with hearing from the hockey players too. You get back to campus, you're in the best shape, you know, you, you could possibly be in, and of course, you get quarantined for two weeks. The stop and go. Um, where are you at right now as you get ready for opening day? Is a, is a conditioning uh, about where you think it should be to get ready to play basketball again? So definitely I, I, um, I came uh, here like uh, in the best shape ever um, I've ever been. Um, the preseason was super long and hard for me, uh, but um, I want to stay positive. Um, I think um, the like being shaped, like that's a, also a mental thing. Right. So um, I want to stay positive, aggressive, and um, have that mentality to to help the team. And I think it's it's gonna be okay. How's your shot looking this year? Hopefully better than last last year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they always say the freshman year is the toughest to go through. How, how much growing have you done? And I'm talking not, not just not growing physically or anything, but growing mentally. You know, they say the four years in college from freshman to senior year, you grew up awfully fast and really mature into a person. Do you feel you, you've taken that next step? I think I do. <clears throat> I think I do. Mm. You can even tell after uh, you see our freshmen um, how they already like grown uh, during this preseason. So uh, it's definitely a, a process of learning and growing. And um, it, if you have such a great coaches, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, but um, when it's hard, that's the, the place where you grow. So um, hopefully um, like everybody want to reach their full, full potential here. So um, even if it's hard, like you have to, you have to grow. Is coach harder on you this year than he was last year? He was pretty hard on me last year, but um, I, th I think he had his moments this year too. <laughs> well, all right. Thanks. Hey, Anna, was there a, since you've had so much time off the, the summer and the end of the season, was there a game or, I don't know, practice or something, a moment from last season that you've kind of looked back to as a real like turning point for you or like a, a, I don't know, a big moment so far in your UConn career or like a shaping for yeah. you? Turning point. Uh, or maybe not even a turning point, uh -huh. something that you've just like used as your own, I guess, motivation even in the off season. I guess that's two different questions. I think um, that my turning point last season was um, the mental switch. Um, I, I had to make uh, during the, the season and um, I, I kind of started to learn uh, what I'm good at, what I can do on the floor and how I can help the team um, like in a specific way. So um, when I finally got it, like it was like the playing was way easier, I think. And when do you think that kind of came? Uh, I think it was um, after the um, South Carolina game, I think, or sorry, I might be wrong. So after, after, after one of the big games, I think, um, which I didn't play okay. well, so yeah. 